what, what we're going to do with, with sound. So we're done with the clipper work. Now I'm going to do some razor work, uh, make it as crisp as possible. I'm going to use the BBA shave oil okay. just to prep his skin. And so that's, that's a pre shave, is it? Yep. Okay. Just to prep his skin, and then I'll put a hot towel. So we're going to be lining Simon up just on the cheek area and then around the throat area there, around in the neck. So he's keeping, going to get those lines as sharp as we possibly can. I know he's, he loves having this done, he, he's, uh, he drops in wherever he can to get it done. After he's had his, his sunbed obviously. Easy. Because he, he is the sunbed king. Until we get on that beach in a minute. We'll see who's been having some beds. Hmm. <laughs> you watch me tan, lad. <laughs> I saw the carrot oil on the, on, on the bedside table. I've already got it on. <laughs> no faction, lad, you'll be careful. <laughs> I'm eat a casualty tonight. <laughs> so, what, if, if you were selling eat zoo hair to any prospective barbers out there, what, if you could sell it, Dubai, in three things, how would you sell Dubai to prospective barbers? What's the best, the best three things about Dubai? Multicultural place, uh, different nationalities, different hair types, coarse, fine, Asian. Uh, other thing would be the experience that you have in Dubai. You experience a very good weather when it's in the winter, it's the best winter in the world. Yeah. In the summer, obviously, it's very hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you get used to it. Um, that thing would be working on high standard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Doing high standard. Uh, it's the opportunity. Services. The yeah. opportunity to have high standards. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I think that's uh, available around the world, but I think in Dubai especially, there's a very high service level, isn't there? You know, people yeah. expect a really high service level. I think that shows in, in chaps, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we offer a hot towel service as well in Zuhair. It's uh, Is this very popular in, in Dubai? Absolutely, yeah. We do hot towel before the shave or even the beard tune-up. Is it too hot for you? No, it's fine. And this is really important part of the service because it's preparing the skin for the razor, softening the beard hair and improving the blood supply, relaxing the client. I'm glad you've done this because when we get back to the room we just say, oh just give us a clean up. I thought he didn't take very long in the shower this morning. That's <laughs> he was his plan all the time, wasn't he? If he'd come in and have a clean up on you. No, I got told to have a clean up. Alright. So obviously a new blade for every client. New blade. Uh, straight out of the, the disinfectant. Yeah. Out of the steriliser. Is that your favourite blade there? Is yeah, I'm using Astra since Six years. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Oh, sharp, good. very sharp. So Sam, if if you were doing this on a regular basis, when how how often do, would you do this to keep it? If you weren't doing it yourself every other day? Mm, I've done about two times a week, three times a week. Yeah. Okay. So. Wherever you are, Barnsley, London, yeah. Kent, got, wherever got you are. Every little place is where I, where I travel to. Even if I'm up in Scotland or if I'm in Wales, Ireland, there's always somewhere where I know where I've been before. Yeah. Who I trust and uh, who, who can relax while they're doing it as well. Because I think sometimes if I walk into a barber shop, everybody's a bit like, not nervous, but they're not themselves, and I just need the barber to be themselves and do a good job. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been in somewhere and they've, they've literally shaken themselves to death around your face and it scared yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 
talk about clippers and want to talk about working on stage. I'm like, I just want to be a lion. Yeah. So okay. for the shave, I'm going to use some shave butter from the BBA. Uh, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of water and then I'll put it while doing the line up. Okay. I just love the beard butter because it's soft in any type of hair. Yeah. No matter how coarse. It, it's, it's that type of product there that um, it's for very strong beards really, isn't it, as well. It, 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 it really, really does work well. And it's great for home use as well because it comes straight out of the the packaging, you know, it squeezes straight into the hand, you can yeah. use it in the shower. Very convenient. Yeah, very convenient. So do you, do you, you know, the whole point of, of doing these services and offering these services, do you um, do you find you retail a lot of these products as well? Do you, do you sell these to clients as well? Yeah, absolutely. We sell like majority of uh, products, but I focus on BBA. I just love the quality of it like consistent yeah, yeah no matter like what batch we getting yeah because okay. some products you would get a batch that is different than the previous one all right okay so inconsistency of product manufacture that's interesting so you're going to apply this with your hands you're going to massage this in yeah yeah so anybody at home, you give them aftercare advice on how to apply this, how to mix it, how to use it, how often. So that's, I think that's a big part of our job. It's just educating the client on how to use products and maintain the look. So for the shave butter, it's different than the shaving cream. The shaving cream, I would put it on the brush, the shaving brush, yeah. and I would like brush all over the beard and then I will do a hot towel and then I will wipe it and then I will do another round of uh, shaving cream for the shave butter you don't need to do that you just apply it to the skin after the hot towel and you start your shaving process just needs that little bit of water with this product doesn't it for uh, otherwise it can be a little dry because this isn't this isn't supposed to lather it's a yeah. butter rather than a lather isn't it yeah exactly so so the the if you want a lather you'd use the shade cream with it with a, a brush so what's the future for zoo hair then is it is it uh you you're very happy in in dubai and it chaps and you yeah so far so good i'm very happy with both like chaps and uh being in dubai yeah uh, what I'm looking for is to grow eventually with the same brand. I don't like to change brands, even when I used to do finance, because this is what I've studied. Mm -hmm. And this is what my father advised me. All He's right. been with the same company for 34 years. There's a lot to be said for loyalty, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. Now Chris isn't here. Is, is, is it a good company to work for? I know you're not going to say <laughs> no, but you know they they seem to look after the the, the the locations very well. Do they look after the staff very well as well? Absolutely. Yeah. They look after both like the staff, uh, their education development, and also like the personal stuff. Like if we are struggling in something, we would definitely ask for and they never hesitate to help any one of us. I think that's important when you move to a new country as well. I know you've had a lot of experience moving around the world and worked in a lot of different places, um, but I think that support in place for any prospective barbers, it's, it's really important, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Like, we live in the shop more than what we do at home. Yeah. <laughs> certainly feels like that, doesn't it, sometimes, so... So Simon said he liked it as high as possible for the cheeks line, so we're not pushing any further than that. Yeah. Just making it look more crisp. 
as we said before, you know, in, in the Middle East, especially in Dubai and, and in this region, it's all about the beard, how sharp it is and the shape, you know, the crispness of, of the lines. Um, when, you, when you find with, with new clients, um, especially, do you, um, you know, a little bit of trepidation? You, you, you know, how do you, how do you treat them? How do you find out? You know, I know we have to ask a lot of questions and, you know, we're constantly checking in the mirror and everything. It's, uh, it's something that we do as professionals, but have you got any tips or tricks for, for anybody, any, any new barbers out there? Consultation. Yeah. Consultation, consultation is key for like any clients coming into the shop, no matter what you want to do, even if it's like a build lineup. If the consultation goes well, the service goes well. He leaves the shop happy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, he's marrying that, what the client's expectations are and what you've got in your mind as well, isn't it? You know, yeah. marrying those two up to get the, the service that the client wants and the results. So, really good answer. I will get you another half hour and I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I think so. No, oh, man. <laughs> He's still there. How the shop's set up, you know, how this location, you know, everything's in your drawers, it's set up, all your hot towels, all your cold towels. You've got a bin in the worktop there, you know, for your dirty towels. Everything's got a place. I really, really like that. Yeah. Very convenient. That's yeah. what I mean, like, they care about the bubbles. Like, everything is convenient, don't need to walk here and there, back and forth. Very well like, planned. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So for the aftershave, I'm using the post-shave balm from the BBA as well. Now, this is your favorite product now, coming on. Mm -hmm. He uses gallons of this, uh, he, 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 he rubs this everywhere. He's having, he's having a bottle of it off me every week. I don't know what he's doing with it, to be honest. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is my favourite moisturiser. Gives you that little bit of a tan, a little bit of colour. Dragon's blood in it, Gaz. That's it, Sandra de Grego. It's got a there you go. plant extract from the Amazon. Listen, okay. if I went lottery, I'm going to fetch Zula back over to the UK. I'm just going to employ him as my personal groomsman. <laughs> just, that's it. it just, I'm just having him. I'll just have a little barber shop in my house and Zula, if you fancy it, fetch your wife over, we'll, we'll build your little annex at the side and you're just my personal groomer. You just have to do three or four beard trims every week for me. We'll pay you loads of money and that's it. Does that sound good? Absolutely good. <laughs> there you go, man. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you might not like the weather in Barnsley though. That's the only trouble. <laughs> It's a bit like Dubai Marina, <laughs> as long as you keep your eyes closed. <laughs> what a job. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Suhan. It's uh, very nice did a great you, job. Thank Thanks you. for hosting us in Chaps in Dubai Mart. You're an absolute welcome. Thank you for visiting us. Well done, pal. Thank, Thank you very much. Very we'll nice see you, you hopefully on some wall training. Yeah. In the next couple of months. I'll be doing his presenting training. Oh, right. Okay. okay. He just signed up as an ambassador for us. Perfect. We'll be working with us. So I'll be uh, teaching you how to present to everybody. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> see you again, sir. See you. See you, man. Bye-bye. <laughs>